All right, now let's uh, move to Shanghai. A powerful radio telescope that will allow Chinese astrono uh, astronomers to probe deeper into space than ever before will be unveiled shortly in Shanghai. Now, for more on this, we're now joined on the phone by Mr. Zhu Jin, the curator of the Beijing Planetarium. He's at the Shanghai Astronomical Observatory right now. Hello there, Mr. Hi. Uh, Ju, can you tell us more about uh, the function of the radial telescope that has been launched, that is going to be launched today? Okay, uh, yeah, uh, because uh, for astronomy now, we already know that uh, all the celestial bodies, they give uh, emission from uh, every wavelength of our uh, electromagnetic spectra. So uh, not only from the optical observation, we also from the ground, we can make a radio observation and also some other uh, X-ray, gamma ray from the space. So, and this radio telescope is uh, very important uh, in astronomy research. Uh, for this telescope, it could uh, work in the area of astrometry to give a very accurate um, determination of the uh, radio source, uh, very thin uh, radio source to give the, about the contribution to the uh, coordinate system. And also in the area of astrophysics and uh, many uh, fields. And mm -hmm. not only it can use that as a single antenna, and this mm -hmm. uh, radio telescope can also participate in the international very long baseline interferometry system. It's a international network. And mm -hmm. so uh, this larger uh, after telescope could uh, improve the uh, sensitivity of the whole international network. Um, Mr. Zhu, uh, what's the, you mentioned the optical telescope uh, just now. Uh, what's the main difference between an optical telescope and a radio telescope? Well, the, the first thing is that they work in different uh, wavelengths. So optical is uh, uh, just like our naked eye, in the, uh, visible uh, wavelengths we, we can watch and use telescope, you can give a very thin uh, and a very detailed uh, image of the uh, universe and also you can take spectra from the optical telescope but uh, for radio telescope it, it's uh, basically it's a uh, record of the the signal the emission the signal of, of the radio source so it's not like our first thinking that it can give the image it, it cannot give your picture of the radio source but first it's uh, received the emission of the uh, radio signal, so it gave a timing of all the radio signals to, uh, to arrive at the telescope. And then it used a different technique to try to remap the, the whole picture of the universe. And also it can use interferometer uh, technique that if we have this uh, telescope here in Shanghai and we have another one, uh, say, in Europe, and then from with, with these two telescopes separated in uh, thousands of uh, kilometers, and uh, we could uh, simulate uh, a larger telescope, like uh, uh, as large as our Earth. So it can very powerful to use this uh, radio technique to observation. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Jin, tell us more about the future plans of uh, this uh, radial telescope, the biggest in Asia. When can we actually see the first image sent uh, from the telescope? Yeah, and this one currently is the largest one in uh, Asia and also b before we have uh, 50 meters in uh, Beijing. And uh, currently, as I know, we have a plan to make a 110 meter uh, radio telescope in uh, Xinjiang province. And also, there will be a 300-meter uh, radio telescope in uh, Guizhou, but that one is, uh, cannot uh, move like this way in uh, all the direction. It's a uh, fixed uh, telescope, 300 meters in Guizhou. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you very much indeed, um, Mr. Zhu Jin, the curator of the Beijing Planetarium, who is now at the Shanghai Astronomical Observatory. So now a completion ceremony for the Shushan 65-meter ra uh, diameter radio telescope is to be held in Shanghai on Sunday. In addition to its size, another of its notable feature is its active surface, which greatly increases accuracy. And for more detail, let's speak with our correspondent over there in Shanghai, Li Qiuyuan. Hello, thanks for joining us. Can you... Um, 
has all the testing work for the Shishan Radio Telescope been completed up to now? And could you tell us some of the details about the testing process and what can we expect in the process of the ceremony? Sure, Jenny. Uh, we're now at the Shanghai Astronomical Observatory where the radio telescope sits. And as you mentioned, as of yesterday, all the testing work has been finished, which mainly includes two parts. One is to test the accuracy of the telescope. The other one is to test the connection between the telescope and the targeting probe in space. Uh, the testing work went fairly well. And as for today's launching ceremony, it's scheduled to start at around uh, 10 a.m. Beijing time. Uh, the entire ceremony will take about an hour. Then the telescope will be officially put into operation. Now, today is also the 40th anniversary of uh, Shanghai Astronomical Observatory, so it's a fairly big event for the observatory. Scientists uh, from all across the country have gathered here. They're all very excited to see this happen. Jenny? Oh, so, uh, Chiu Yuan, what is the significance, if you have spoken to the staff there, of completing this Shushan, this very nifty radio telescope? Well, this uh, radial telescope uh, kind of resembles the shape of a giant satellite dish, but that's because uh, unlike optical telescope, which has lenses to provide images, a uh, radial telescope uh, is a form of a directional radio antenna used in radio astronomy. Now, this one will be used in tracking and collecting data from satellites and space probes, including Chinese astronomical projects like uh, Chang'e Lunar Probe, uh, even Mars exploration and other deep space explorations. And of course, this one has a dish diameter of 65 meters and a height of 70 meters. Uh, the reflector itself is fairly large, has a size of eight basketball courts. Uh, it is so far the biggest of its kind in Asia. Uh, the project took three years to complete and it's expected to greatly enhance uh, China's ability to position space probes and also assist uh, future flights of the country's space exploration program. Back to you, Jenny. Great. Thank you very much for your report. Our correspondent over in Shanghai, Li Qiu Yuan, certainly we look forward to the ceremony of the Shishan uh, radio telescope. Well, we've been introducing to you a powerful radio telescope that will allow Chinese astronomers to probe deeper into space than ever before. And it is going to be unveiled in Shanghai today. And our reporter Li Chuyuan is at the Shanghai Astronomical Observatory. Hello, Chuyuan. Uh, what's the latest? And can you tell us uh, more about this project? Sure. Hi there. Well, the radio telescope just completed the startup process. Now, the entire process took roughly four to five uh, minutes to complete. It has completed two turns, a vertical one and a horizontal one. Now, this radio telescope is the biggest of its kind in Asia. And, uh, of course, uh, you can't probably see from here, but this uh, shape resembles, kind of resembles a gigantic satellite dish. Uh, that's because unlike optical telescope, which uses lenses and collect images, a radio telescope like this one, they operate on radio sources. So they detect and collect data from satellite and space probes. So uh, in a sense, the bigger the reflector is, uh, the better. It's going to be more sensitive. Uh, it can better detect radio frequencies deeper into space. And of course, this satellite dish uh, has a diameter of 65 meters and a height of 70 meters. So uh, just to give you a sense of how big that is, uh, the reflector itself has a size of eight basketball courts combined. So that's pretty impressive. And it's set to be uh, greatly enhanced China's ability to uh, better position space probes and uh, to facilitate future flights of the country's space exploration program. And for more on this, we're now uh, joined by Mr. Zhu Jin. He is uh, the Plan a director of Beijing Planetarium, who's also an expert on the astronomical observation. Hi, Mr. Ju. So, what's your take on the significance uh, of this project? Well, I think it's, uh, for China, it's very important that we have this uh, larger uh, radio telescope to improve our uh, astrometry and astrophysics uh, research, and also it's a great uh, contribution to the international uh, very long baseline interferometer uh, network. Okay, great. So I guess that's all from me. It's back to you now. All right. Thank you very much, Chu Yan.